everyone, welcome back to my channel. I haven't uploaded a video in a very long time. Um, so this is a look that I have created for you guys today. This is a look that I have created with all the products that I have never used before. Or maybe I've used only a couple times, so they're fairly new to me. They're not necessarily brand new products, but they are, like I said, new to me, ones that I have never tried before. Um, but some of the products, like for example, this Too Faced, um, love light highlighters are fairly new and um, something that I have also tried on my skin. I want to do this video mainly because I want to try it out for myself and I want to show you guys how it looks like with um, a full face. Kind of like a full face of first impressions but not really because some of them I have tried before. All these products are a mix of drugstore products and a mix of high-end products that I got from Sephora and yeah, I really like this look that I created today. These are the only two things that you have seen before. The rest I have never used in a video. Um, I hope you guys like this video. It is definitely new and very fun for me. Um, hopefully this will get me back into making videos again. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I had a lot of fun creating this. And let's begin. Okay everyone, let's get started. I'm going to be using a new foundation I've never used before, which is the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance with Olay. This claims to be age defining, which I was curious about, which is why I picked it up. Um, I got this at Walmart. I forget how much it was. I think it was maybe $8 or something. It comes with a pump, which is very rare um, for drugstore foundations. And I picked up in the shade 105 Ivory. I don't know if this is going to be the right shade for me. As you know, for drugstore foundations, you can't really tell since you can't really test it out. Um, and in the packaging, it doesn't say what kind of finish it has. And as you can see, I have quite a few um, pimples here and there. Hopefully this will be at least a medium coverage. If not, we can build it up. It seems to have a fairly thick consistency, not too runny and not too, not really moussey either. It just seems like a thicker foundation than usual. It smells very nice too, very sweet, but not too overpowering. Definitely the right shade for me, which is good. I'm just gonna start on one side of my face. Maybe just dab a few dots here and there and see where this goes. I really do like the smell. It smells very fresh, kind of like a moisturizer. Well, I guess it's because um, they have like Olay moisturizing components in there. The other thing I'm worried about is um, because it's age-defying, I'm assuming it's more for um, mature skin, which usually means it might be more moisturizing than usual. And I do have oily skin, so hopefully this will hold up throughout the day. I'm not really sure. But this is one layer, and it does seem to have a light coverage, light to, light to medium maybe. And I used up most of my pump, there's only a little bit left in there, so I'm going to use the rest of it on the rest of my face. So this is one pump on half of my face. It does seem a little light, but as you can tell, it does match my neck and the rest of my skin. Um, it did cover my imperfections pretty well. My freckles are still peeking through, which is usual. And yeah, so far so good. I'm going to finish the rest of my face and again, see how it goes. Another pump and I'm gonna do the other side of my face quickly. So I finished the rest of my face and after looking at it, it looks pretty good. It is a medium, I guess light to medium coverage. So far so good. I don't have a new concealer to try. So I'm just going to take um, I guess this Maybelline Fit Me that I've been using for a while, as per usual. So for powder, I'll be using the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. Um, I tried this once already and actually really, really do like it. I bought the Laura Mercier setting powder, you know the one that everyone is raving about? I bought that one in translucent as well and I didn't like it. It did set my foundation really well, but the thing was that the in the shade translucent, it had a very yellow hue. So when I put it under my eyes and the rest of my face, it gave me more of like 
a yellow tint that didn't really want to fade. So I'll be setting it with my um, beauty sponge again. You know the foundation I put on? It smells so good. I didn't think I was actually going to like it, but it really does smell really good. It does leave my skin very smooth looking. For the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the powder again, but with a different brush. Smelling it and just tapping it so I can set the rest of my face. This actually did make my foundation last a long time the last time I used this. So for the eyes, I'll be using this new NYX palette, new to me palette. I got this at a L'Oreal sale. In uh, Canada, we have, I think twice a year, we have these L'Oreal sales. So I got this palette for $10. It comes with a contour shade, a blush, a highlight, and six eyeshadows. I've used this before, I think a couple times already. I like the eyeshadows. I've actually never tried using the contour before. I've used it as an eyeshadow, which was, which was good. It was okay. Um, but I've never actually used it as a contour, which I will be using today. Um, the eyeshadows were okay as well, but the thing I didn't like about it was that it had a lot of fallout. I feel like it, it gets absolutely everywhere. This is something that you definitely have to tap out. So since I picked up that shade, I'll just take the shade anyways and put this... It is very pigmented. I think that's why it's um, very... Oh god. I think I took too much of that color. Okay, let's try to save this. So that's how it looks right now. So I'm going to take a flat shader brush and probably take the shade, um, this one right here, this golden shade right here, and put this all over my lid. Definitely very pigmented. That's one thing I like. I do find that like those little rock shadows where it has a lot of fallout, it tends to be more pigmented in a way, I guess you could say. Okay, and then blend out the edges. Gonna deepen the crease a little more. I'm probably going to take this dark purple one. So for my eyeliner, I'll be trying out this Essence Eyeliner Pen in Waterproof. I just made a swatch on it, this is how it looks like. Very black, very liquidy, so hopefully this works. My favorite pen liner is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and I'm always trying to find something that is a dupe for it or something that can replace it, and which is why I picked up this Essence one. If it can do the job just like how the tattoo liner does and doesn't budge and everything, then I will continue to from now on, but we'll see. This pen's not bad. It's, it's very pigmented. It's very black. It dries down to a matte finish. And the tip, that, like the felt tip is pretty like hard, which is easy to make um, strokes on the eyelid to make the eyeliner. So next, I'm going to do my brows. I don't have a new brow product, so I'm just going to be using what I'm comfortable with, which is the Benefit Cabral, which comes with a brush. I've already made a video on this, so I'm just gonna skip this part. Okay, so I just finished my brows. Um, I guess today is going to be a strong brow kind of day. If you guys want a tutorial on my brows, I actually made a video on it already, so I'll link it down below. Um, so for the rest of my face, I'll be going back to this palette, and I'll be taking this contour bronzer shade I guess and I'm gonna be very careful because I know I guess because the eyeshadows are so pigmented I don't want to be I uh, hope this isn't too too pigmented hopefully it blends out easily as well so I'm gonna take my regular brush that I always use this is the elf complexion brush I like it because once you turn it to the side it gets really flat which is really nice to put it right on the cheekbones and chisel out my contour so let's start at the back and, oh god, no. I don't know if I like it. See the difference? It's hard to blend out though. So, take it down here. And take a little bit up here on my temple. That's how that looks like. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So the bronzer, um, 
I don't love it, but I don't hate it. So it's just like, mm. okay. So for the blush, this is like a corally, peachy kind of blush. So hopefully this is gonna turn out well as, as well. Have out the excess and put this on the uppers of the cheeks. Not as pigmented as I thought it'd be. Definitely like the blush. I actually like it a lot more than I thought I would. And it's not hard to get my blush brush in there. So that is definitely a plus. It looks very natural on the skin. It matches the look really well too. Okay, now the highlighter. It's kind of like a champagne kind of highlighter. Let me do a swatch for you, see if it turns out well. Do you see that? That's a swatch there. So hopefully, this is going to be a nice one. Oh, wow, damn. Can you guys see that? Wow, this highlighter was a lot better than I thought. Very, very impressed. I'm gonna put some on the tip of my nose and down my nose. The nose is quite flat, so I like to make it pop up. So far, I actually do like this trio. Um, the bronzer slash contour was just all right, but the blush and highlight, definitely a win for me. Believe it or not, I've actually never tried this um, mascara before. This is the Tarte. Lights, camera, lashes. I guess this is the original, I think. Um, I've never actually tried this before, so, and this is a sample that I've gotten when I made my purchase for my Tarte Shape Tape. It came with the sample size, but that is how the brush heads look like. The main problem I have with my lashes and mascaras is that my lashes never hold the curl after applying my mascara. So hopefully this won't be the case. If it is, it's not a big deal. I'll just apply it on false lashes, so. Yeah, so as you can tell, it definitely doesn't hold my curl. Doesn't really seem like I did much to my lashes. But let me do the other side quickly. So for my lips, I actually have quite a few things I want to show you. So I wanted to try out these. This is a Korean makeup brand. It's called Lovely Me X. Lovely Me X. It is a lip gloss. Um, it has it comes with four shades. I bought all four. I don't know where the other one is, unfortunately. I've actually tried these a couple times already and they're not too sticky. Um, they do stay on the lips. They're not very, very pigmented. Like as you can see, it seems like there's a, a nice ray of color range, but then when you actually swatch it on your hands and your lips, there isn't much of a color payoff. For example, when we do this red one here, let me show you. So it's more of like a like a glossy tint. Let me know if you guys want a review on this. I am actually quite interested in Korean beauty and I haven't tried many. This is a pink one. It's very nice. Like if you think about it, it looks really nice. Good for like um, spring that's coming now and it's good for um, if you work in an office, you don't want it to be too out there. It's really, really nice. I feel like the whole, um, the whole liquid lipstick, matte liquid lipstick, all pigment thing is kind of, well, I'm not sure, but like, I'm kind of over it now and I kind of want nice glossy lips for the summer and spring. Yeah, I'll probably put this peach one on. I'll show you guys how it looks like and then I'll take it off and I have another lip product I want to show you guys. And the other thing that I like about this is it actually does smell like peaches. Not, not because this is peach, but they all smell like a very faint fuzzy peach if you guys like that it's not too sheer but it's not too pigmented isn't that beautiful so i actually do like this um this will be really great for on the go if you want just a nice gloss to um, have a nice tint and touch up. This is something that you probably don't need a mirror for, which I actually love. If you wear liquid lipsticks that are matte and you want to touch up the day, you need like a mirror with you at all times and you have to be very, very careful not to get outside of your line and make it all nice and straight and stuff. But then if you have a gloss like this with like a nice tint, 
you can easily just slap it on and like touch up a color, touch up a gloss very easily throughout the day, which I actually really like. And the other product that I wanted to show you guys is another product that I've never tried before. It's the Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick. Um, I have the shade Streak. So that is how the color looks like. Let me show you guys. I've never tried this before. I got this um, at the L'Oreal sale again. But anyways, this is how it looks like. I actually never even swatched this yet. I swatched it when I bought it, but ever since I came back, I've never swatched it. It's really nice and creamy. That's how the shade looks like. Isn't it pretty? Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I think it's nice for summer and spring. Let me take off this lip gloss and I'll put on the new one. I can tell it's going to be very moisturizing. I just put a very light layer on because I didn't want to pack it on, but I like lip colors that are not too bad in your face. Um, this is something that looks very natural. If I wanted to, I'm pretty sure I can build it up. Let me show you guys how it looks like if I actually made a really thick layer. That's how it looks like. It looks just more pink and more bold. But like I said, I kind of like the look when it's just nice and sheer. For me, it's just easier to manage and I think it looks better on my skin tone. Let me know if you guys want a review, like a full in-depth review on these uh, lip glosses that I got and if you want to know more about cream beauty, I got this at the, at the face shop I actually want to try another thing for you guys. So I bought these Too Faced Love Light highlights that I want to try out I bought two One is in the shade You Light Up My Life You Light Up My Life is kind of like a goldeny shade and then this one Blinded by the Light This one is more of like a classic champagne more of like my color kind and there was another one i forget what it's called i'll insert a picture in here right now it is um like a rose gold kind of highlight um so yeah this is how the packaging looks like i wanted to try it on this video but at the same time i really wanted to try out the highlight in this palette which turned out amazing but um let me know if you guys want a review on these ones to be honest, I got this because the packaging is absolutely adorable. Look at this. It's in shape of a heart, kind of like a nice reflective um, plastic kind of palette. Feels not too heavy. It feels a lot cheaper than I thought it would. Um, and this is how it looks like. This is blinded by the light and look at that. Yeah. Okay, so I've heard mixed reviews on this. I heard that it wasn't, it wasn't like too pigmented. Um, you have to like build it up a lot but I kind of like highlights that you have to build up slowly just for me um, but I also do like highlights that are just like really pigmented as well so I feel like I like both you know what let me just apply a little bit on top of what I have right now and show you guys okay, so this was the first highlight that you guys saw right so let me swatch it right beside it swatch it right here blinded by the light and the next one on the side here so you guys can see the two differences you light up my life it's more of a goldeny tone i'm not sure if this is going to match my skin tone very well it seems like this will be very good for maybe like a dark skin tone um i want to try it out though if it doesn't match like if, if i don't like it as a highlight i think i might return it just because it doesn't seem like something that would match me you know what i mean I'll swatch it right beside all the other ones right here. That's how it looks like. It looks absolutely gorgeous. But you know what? I'm gonna put one on one side and the other one on the other side just to see how it looks like. Let me start out with You Light Up My Life since it's already open in front of me. It's hard to tell when I already have highlight on. So that's how the gold one looks like. And another thing I forgot to mention is that the packaging itself is also different. The one um, blended by the light is more of a silver packaging because it's like a champagne color and you light up my life is like a golden packaging because it's like a gold shade. So let me try on blinded by the light on the other side. As you can probably tell, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it does. A person, you can see it does have like a goldeny sheen to it. 
So let me try this one, the more champagne color on the other side, on top of what I already put on. I have to try it on like my bare skin without having another highlight underneath, but it looks really nice. It doesn't have like sparkles in there. It's just a nice sheeny highlight, which I like. Can you see that? that looks really nice. So yeah, this is my final look with uh, products that I have never used before. So if you guys like these products, or if you guys want to have a more in-depth video on any of these products, then please let me know down below and I will definitely do one for sure. If you guys like these type of videos where I try on products that I have never used before, products that are new to me, then um, please let me know down below and I can definitely collect more for sure and um, next time we'll do another one like this. So thank you for watching. Bye guys!